It would seem that Jerry is in the middle of the countryside, but no, we're actually between the M606 motorway, a railway and a major A road. We've come today to the opening of the railway terrace, Heathland Local Nature Reserve. I'm speaking to Bob Clunis, who's the deputy chair of the... Um, Lomar Urban Village I've Lomar Urban Village Just a few words on how all this came about and uh, what are your future plans? Well, the land is owned by Bradford Council mm. and it's a conservation area which has been going back for, for many, many years. However, this is the first time that uh, uh, Natural England has given local nature reserve status yeah. to a piece of land in Bradford. It's been yeah. able to do that for some last, uh, for last uh, 60 years, so we're very, very pleased. And the event we've organised today really to celebrate that and also to let people know uh, about the, the land. Um, there's a five-year management plan in place at the moment yeah. and uh, we'll conserve, uh, conserve the land and also make further improvements. However, there are other two pieces of land which we'd also like to develop. Uh, one's equal the size of this, uh, called Toad's Old Beck, which is in Openshaw, right. and another part which is also called uh, called Dean Fields. So it'll be quite extensive then, won't it? It'll it is, and what we're looking for is the, the largest uh, conservation yeah. area in Bradford, and we're well on yeah. our way. But what we need is we need the, the community to participate. Yeah. We need different stakeholders, Oakenshaw Residents Association involved, uh, Consight Services, Fosses uh, Community College and of course the, the council as well. And by working together we can do this. But what we need is we need uh, external funding and uh, we need to, to apply for the funding as part of what we're doing. Oh lovely. Well, thanks very much Bob. You're welcome. It's a lovely place. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right. Nature, and this is the pond which has been proven very uh, exciting for the kids that are involved. It just goes to show that if you have a managed environmental space, then people will use it. And this is the first uh, nature trail that's been recorded in the city. So you know, a lot of thanks goes to all the people that have been involved with it long and long, and the college who are managing this scheme. And I think it's really a first class of it for Bradford Town. We have Councillor Michael Johnson, who's the chair of Bradford South Area Committee, and he's come along today as well. Um, and what are your thoughts on this? Uh, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, this uh, It's the first local nature reserve in Bradford mm. and to have it in Bradford South mm. is a real first for Bradford. I'm really proud yeah. that the area committee that we've been able to help along with the uh, three Labour local walk councillors. I've yeah. just had a walk around and I didn't expect it to be so extensive. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. really great. It's Thank wonderful, you. isn't it? Thank you. That's all. And, right. My right. name's Les Barnett. I'm the uh, president, founder president, in fact, of the Bradford Urban Wildlife Group mm -hmm. and also the Bradford Botany Group, which is another major group in the area. This is Martin Priestley next to me. Martin is this ex an, an expert bird man, but also has excellent butterfly knowledge. It itself was a defunct marshalling yard. It, it, was a, it used to be covered yeah, in railway, railway lines. Yeah, yeah. At the time when we started looking at it, the railway lines had been taken up, but there was still plenty of ballast and there's a lot of big holes that people might fall down and all that sort of thing. Then to help with management. Mm. And uh, the story over the last 10, 15 years has been this constant management, constant improvement, all this re sowing of this grass meadow here. And the whole thing has turned back into the lowland heath that it back was before nature. the railways yeah. came in the first place. Fabulous. Fantastic. Yes. It is, it's I, wonderful. I think as well, yeah. what, what I've managed yeah. to do over the... Yeah. I've been with Les, like, yeah. you know, for 30 years, been recording here at the site, right? Mm. And uh, some of the species that I've found, uh, things like... It's, it's, a, it's on a migration route, is this time, yeah. right? Yeah. So I've, I've found things like nightingale, right? And when yeah. you consider the, that yeah. uh, we're four miles from the city centre, where, yeah. where Mr Sutcliffe uh, yeah. probably was being in office, you know? Yeah. Things like that we've got um, 21 different species of butterfly that I've recorded and uh, 10 different species of dragonfly uh, yeah. uh, on the site as well which are quite remarkable Fantastic, uh, yeah. to see yeah. how, how close we are to yeah. the city centre of Bradford. Yeah. It's wonderful thank you very much that's brilliant thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.